The task center is where you will see all the tasks that have been created on your website. To access it, click on WP Feedback on the WordPress admin sidebar. Let's look at each column one by one. Here, you can filter the tasks you want to see. For example, let's say I only want to see tasks that are critical because my client is having some problems. Tick on critical and boom, we can see each task that has been marked as critical. Let's go a step further and check only tasks that are open and that have been created by our client and that are critical. Boom. The filters make it easy for you to find what you're looking for and allow you to really fit WP Feedback Pro into your own workflow. In this column, we can see all the tasks found. If there are no filters chosen, it will show all tasks in order of creation. We can click a task to open it in the task view and hover over the nifty little arrow which shows you a summary of the status and urgency of the task. If you'd like to have the summary view on without having to hover, simply check this box here. We can also create general tasks by clicking on this button and choosing the relevant page or posts from this dropdown. In the third and main column, we can see the task that has been selected. On the top here is the number of the task, the title, which we can change by clicking this icon here, and who created this task along with the date and time it was created. The title is the first comment that was created in this task by default. We advise editing this if you'd like to make it clearer for future reference. Below this section we have two tabs, one for the comments that have been made inside this task and the screenshot that was automatically generated when this task was created. At the bottom we can send messages by typing them in here and clicking the send message. We can also upload files to this task. If you want to have some internal communications between you and your team and basically leave notes, you can find this feature inside your Pro dashboard. More on this later. Last but not least, we have the task attribute column. This button takes you to the task on the front end as I previously demonstrated. Here, we can see the additional information about the task. We can change the status and the urgency of the task with these dropdowns, delete the task, which we strongly advise against, so you can keep records of all your communication with your clients, and we can change the assigned users here. Quickly, let's take a look at the top bar here. You can search for tasks in this search bar. This is based off the title. And you can trigger the daily and weekly reports. Essentially, this screen alone gives you full control over all the communications done around this project. Now let's look at the general settings. 